coaches to pull one out like that after you can drop so so many calls on the scout team. Yeah, I mean, anytime you win, it feels good. But, you know, give these kids a lot of credit. I mean, they they, they kept getting hit. And they kept get, getting knocked down. They keep, they keep getting up. Uh, you know, it's kind of what life's all about. And it's they're, they're learning some, some, some good life lessons about how to continue to fight and continue to compete. Uh, I thought the first half we weren't very good. I, I just... I mean, I think if you watched our substitution patterns and some of the things, I, I wasn't very happy with with what we were doing. But I thought we responded once we came out of the locker room. We had a stretch there in the first half where we, I thought we were pretty good. We just couldn't get a shot to go down, you know. But in the past, what would have happened in a game like today, we wouldn't have continued to defend. We, we let our offense dictate our defense early in the year. But now we're starting to be – where we can get stops on the defensive end, we're usually much better on the offensive end. I mean, CJ, could you have made some of those shots today? Yeah, I told you. I thought so too. He, we had some wide open looks, and uh, I tried to get my man CJ in the game, but I couldn't find him. I said, uh, "So you're going to be ready next game, though, right?" Okay. Aaron played down the stretch, made big three throws. That's what fifth year seniors are supposed to do, you know. I mean. You look, he makes those. Nigel makes two free throws. You know, you, Chris McNeil and Marlon and those guys are freshmen. And, you know, they, they shouldn't be the guys that have to make those plays down the stretch. It should be your older veteran guys. But I just thought second half we made every hustle play. Uh, to start the second half, I don't know how many consecutive turnovers they had, but it was five or six. Uh, we kept getting great looks and couldn't get the ball to go down. Um and just felt like we got good shots. I don't know. I don't know what else you can do. Uh, we kept running some things to try to get some guys open looks. I thought we did that. I thought our execution was good in the second half. We just just got to step up and make a shot. Asked Nigel about the prospect of losing four at home as a senior factor, and that he said he didn't want to think about it for your guys to end this homestand by committing that play. Yeah, I mean, you know, the only thing I've talked to him about is there's a lot of basketball to be played. And they we, we put the standings up yesterday and said, look where we are. And we've got to do something to change it. But you've watched every game we've played this year. I mean, you know, it's been difficult because in terms of – there are a lot of games that could have been flipped. I've never been through anything like it. I mean, you go with Old Dominion the other night, UTEP, Middle, FIU, Rice. Uh, there's probably another one in there that I failed to mention. But flip those and, and see what would have happened. Would have, could have, should have is all great. But, guys, this team has gotten better. And we're going to continue to get better. And, and you know, we, we've got some real quality guys sitting over there that don't Get to put a uniform on yet? I think the future is bright uh, where we're where we're headed. As far as next week, big challenges on the road. Hey, you know, if you're gonna go on the road, get the two uh, top two dogs in the league. Let's see where we're at. Uh, you know, you want to see where you're at going into the tournament. So let's find out. I, I, I don't. You know, we may go in there and, and get our tails kicked, but I, I think what will happen is we'll go in there and compete. And uh, you know, I, I think we're I think we're starting to figure some things out. We we need some we need some consistency out of some guys. Uh, we shot thirty percent today and won the game. They shot fifty one. You know that one stretch where Fred stepped up, and made two straight. Justin made two straight. That was big. That hasn't been happening. And we were able to catch up and get some momentum. Uh, you know, it's a little thing, but. 80% from the free throw line. Take it down to 59, like it's 61, like it's been the last few games. We'd have been right where we've been, you know. Uh, we'd have been one point short, two points short, and but we weren't. We had guys made plays today. Okay. She had something in the back, and Chad interrupted her. She was going to ask the first question. Change in the second half. 
please, please play harder. Uh, please rotate better. Uh, play the game the right way. I said, look, I only know one way to do this. I only know one way to see the right results, and it's play with energy and passion. And if you can do that, you know, let the results be what they may. But uh, and I don't think there's any question which team played with more energy and more passion in the second half. Now, if you asked me that at halftime, I, I probably wouldn't have given you that answer. But, uh, you know, I was proud of the way our guys responded second half. Uh, was able to get out here with a win, and now we'll uh, get on to trying to get another one on Thursday. What do you think, CJ? We, we'll be ready Thursday? Yes, sir. Here we go. This is CJ, by the way. Got anything to say, CJ? You want to say anything? Um. Here. What do you want to say? Say whatever you want to say. Tell them how much you like Coach Harper. Um, I like Coach Harper a lot of time. You love Coach Harper a lot of times. Coach Harper is your buddy, right? Coach Harper love you? That's right. So, all right, guys, y'all have a good weekend. Thanks, everyone. You ready? Let's go. Good job.